Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd down here at Advantage One RV today with another little TLC special. It's actually the second time I've seen this RV. Uh, I think it was sometime last year. We actually sold it to the current owners down from Halet RV. And it was, I'd say, a handyman special then. And I consider a TLC special a little bit better than a handyman special. To me, a handyman special means it's not even ready to go camping until you do some work to it. This thing, I, I, I absolutely, is not perfect. It is not back to 100%. I do think it has been touched up a little bit to the level of camp capable. Um, if you are a handy person, you're looking for a DIY winter project, if you're looking for an inexpensive hunting shack, or frankly, if you're just looking for a bargain basement camper, because you don't want to spend any more than you have to, you want to try camping before you go neck deep in financing a brand new RV, this might not be a bad way to go for you. You can see the awning has some slack in the fabric up there. It's got some significant soft flooring. We're gonna hit on those objects first, but overall, it's better than I remember it. And it feels like it would be weekend worthy just as it sits right now. I don't think it needs anything. There's just some stuff that you might wanna to do to it. And I think this is a good example of the kind of decency that we try to conduct ourselves with down here because at a glance, Man, if you just look around, if I just took some photos and plastered them up on the interwebs, boy, she'd sure look pretty darn sharp. Because what you can't see, even on camera right now, is that there's a lot of soft flooring going on through here. And I can't even really demonstrate it on camera. I just want to make you aware of it. The most significant part of that is back here. Now, this is a laminated floor. So once those are compromised, unless you really got a lot of knowledge and know-how and the right tools and things, it's very difficult to get them back up to 100%. But that doesn't mean that they can't be functional. Is the flooring a little soft? I'm going to point you straight down, try not to make you motion sick. Is it a little soft? Yeah. Am I tiptoeing around? Like, am I like, oh, where's it bad? Where's it bad? No. I'm just, I can just walk through this thing. It's not right, but it's not going to kill you. Um, you see the discoloration on the floor right here. That is just a surefire sign that there's been some water there. And like, I think... I'm not sure what might have caused it in this camper. I'm guessing maybe a bad toilet valve because it does seem to be mostly located back in this area. It could be that maybe something failed over here under the door and allowed some water in. And that's why this is discolored and this is just soft. I don't know what the case may be. I just know that this is where we're at in this RV, basically. By the way, it took me longer than I'm proud to admit to locate the slide switch, which is frankly not even very well hidden. It's in a rather conspicuous place, if I must say. Now up top here, ooh, baby, we got us that AMFM compact disc player. <laughs> the only thing this is missing is that 90s bass boost button. Oh. You know, your portable Sony uh, CD player Walkman thing, it had the bass boost function. Oh, that was just like, that was the height of uh, of 90s musical luxury right there. Anybody else have even, like, you remember what I'm talking about, right? I like that free-floating table, by the way. If you want to, you could take that outside and use it for picnic time. That can fold down into a sleeper. You've got yourself awesome door side window over here straight across from the sofa. Now, that is interestingly not a TV. I think... Uh, like I said, we uh, sold this RV from Halet RV to the most recent owners last fall. I think they did some basic work to it. And it makes me wonder, because that's a computer monitor. I'm wondering if they did some mobile office kind of stuff with this. I'm not exactly sure. And there's something about this, like I'm, they might have put new flooring down. I, I don't quote me on that because it's, it's the same flooring all the way up through the pass-through, which would surprise me. But this RV is not as rough as I remember it. Actually, when I when I saw it sitting here, I remember this camper just like visibly. And I went, oh no, that guy again. And then I got in here and maybe I just remember it wrong. Maybe I remember it being worse than it is. This is not terrible. I mean, okay, we got a, a spot of soft flooring, which is not stopping you from walking in the RV, is not hurting the function of the RV. We got ourselves this cute little front walker on bed here great door side window coverage it's lightweight uh it has a shallow slide i will show you the slide closed up in a little bit here by the way there used to be a shelf up there that has been taken down and i think somebody probably put a wall tv mount in over here if i had to guess but this is old enough i had that classic shelf in the corner for a tiny little nine inch tv that 
Oh man, that was just that was highfalutin. <laughs> The little sofa slide on this, though, it's not massive. Like, you can see it's not too deep. You got uh, the circle of life going on over here between uh, Simba and Nala. And, uh, man, I tell you what, when they said that they were going to start a, uh, uh, when they made that live-action Lion King remake, I wasn't sure if I was ready to cry again. I was like, okay, I'm ready to be hurt. I can do this. I can take it. I can get through it. It, uh, oh, that was gut-wrenching. That was gut-wrenching, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> you know how Scar got the scar in his face? He challenged Mufasa. That's what lion brothers do. Uh, <laughs> Mufasa handed it to him. <laughs> you don't care. Why am I talking about the Lion King? We're looking at a camper. Sorry. I'm just trying to have a little fun. Camper is supposed to be about fun. Corner shower over here. Uh, skylight above. It's a six and a half foot ceiling. So that skylight's going to be nicer for taller folks like me to be able to fit in here. And I tell you what, that is a nice chunk of storage over here in the bathroom. I want to show you closed up real quick, and then let's go ahead and open that up and get a good look inside there. That could be, because it's right next to the kitchen, it's weird, it's unconventional, but you're in a camper. You do things a little bit differently. I could see that space being partially used as a little bit of a kitchen pantry. Is that crazy? And a very quick look in road mode shows that with that shallow sofa slide closed, you don't lose out Really, on anything but a little bit of walking space, you can still get to every ounce of storage, all the sleeping, all the every stuff, basically. And it does feel to me like a camper that, with some elbow grease, I think she could have some shine. I think that you could you could have some pride behind you here. The uh, awning, I don't know exactly why there's some slack. It could be that the recoil on the uh, awning has failed, is failing. I'm not exactly sure uh, what might be happening there. Up front in this pass-through area here, pretty good pass-through uh, space. So, you know, when you get your hitching and stuff off, you got to get your leveling blocks. You got a great spot for all that up in here. So we work our way around. It could use a bath. It's got just storage dust on it. I do like those roof vent covers. Those are over the bedroom vent as well as the bathroom vent, by the way. So if uh, it's just kind of one of those things, you, you don't want to turn on the air. You want that fresh air, but maybe it's a little drizzly like it's been lately here. Uh, around our area. Yeah, it's a nice little spot to be able to get some airflow going through it. And I tell you, overall, the decals and stuff look pretty good. Uh, a lot of times when you see an RV that needs, you know, some kind of TLC work, a lot of times the exterior looks virtually shot, but I don't see that. Like, another thing I look for on an RV like this is I'll look for stress fractures around the slide stress points. I don't see any of that here. Um, I, I think that what probably got the best of this RV was at one point, if I, if I had to guess based on the location of the soft flooring and some things like that, I think that it began potentially with a failed toilet valve. Maybe it burst from a bad winterization or something and then kind of affected the floor a little bit, which allowed some water to work its way through. Now, the, uh, on the back here, actually, that is a bike rack that can fold down. So it's got a big old bike rack off the back of it. Um, I don't think that's factory. It could be that's where some of the problems started, but I don't see the problems in the walls on this one. Now, it's not great footage, admittedly, but I did try to at least stick my camera up on a stick and walk down the sidewall of this because there's not a ladder on the back. I did want you to get to see something up there. It looks like, if this were me, if I were buying this RV, it needs a cleaning, and I would probably at least fully peel and seal the roof just to make sure because it doesn't look like there's been a lot of attention up there uh, in the last couple years. I would want to make sure that I don't have a problem starting from the top down because roof leaks are the worst since water works with gravity. If you start to have a failure up top, it'll really cause havoc all the way down the camper. And I don't see where that's happened yet and I would want to keep it that way if it were me. So thank you very much for joining us down here at Advantage One RV. If you appreciate the straight shooting way we go about things, hit the like button on this video. Leave us a couple comments with any questions or just saying, hey, thanks for being real about things, guy. And if you haven't done so, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, support our family-owned and operated facility down here at Advantage One RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and have an A1 day, everyone.